Hello everybody, good afternoon, here we are at Santangle HQ and 22 of the advent calendar, or well, advent picture anyway. So after this one we've got two left, two spaces, that's it, and then we're done. So let's make a start then. Of course, as ever, let's just uh, zoom in a little bit. And I've actually taped it in place because as you can see we've got some elements here that are going to need to be joined together. So just to help out a little bit and to keep us on um, task in terms of how large or, or small or where certain things go, we're going to just split up the section. There we go. Hi there. All right. So I'm going to stick with pencil just for a little while because it's nice to just be sure of certain curves before we, we get carried away and draw them in pen. So here we go. I'm going to start with this one here and it's going to sort of come to uh, the end of this one here. So we've got Let's have a look. I'm going to bring in, let's see now, I see, because we've got lines coming down this one, so we've got a sort of a sneaky one hidden there, and I'm going to extend that one down there a little bit, you see, and then this is going to come round and sort of sit in that space there, and then into this one. Hello everybody, oh it's lovely to have you with me again. We've done well with this. We've kept up, haven't we? Or even if not, there's no worries, no pressure that you have to. It's all about enjoying this one, really. And you can do it at any time of the year. It's not just a Christmas image. Okay, so I've sort of extended that curve out there. So I've got one, two, three sections. And then this one here, as we well know, this sort of space now gives us our little shape. So let's put those in. Again, I'm just going to go in in pencil, just to be sure. Now here, so this one's still sort of going that way. And there's one there. I think what I'm going to do, let's have a look. So that one sort of goes, they go all over the place, don't they, those? That's okay. I think what I'm going to do here, I'm going to change it so I've got that angle. And then this one, I'm going to change it slightly as well. Just sort of make it a little bit straighter, maybe. You see, I've got a gap there. That's okay, I can sort of fill that with bubbles. We did say that there might be a few little areas that we needed to sort out, but that's fine. All right, so next little bit then. Let's have a look. I think actually that's probably everything we need to do in pencil. It's gonna be a nice straightforward one, I think this. So let's draw these curves back in in pen and you can see there look I've extended it into that tile there now that tile I've got a quick look was number 17 so it just sort of gives us that flow and then along here so I'm going to turn it slightly because I like to be able to draw my curves that way and same here look bring that one in and then along here, it's looking fabulous, isn't it? There we are. So it's like we say here, I'm just making a few slight amendments. So that one's going to sort of sit there. But this one, I'm going to sort of straighten it slightly. Same with this one, because I don't want to sort of make them too wobbly. And of course, this one we can draw in now. There we are. So, next little bit, so let's put these in around here. So I'm just sort of following my pencil lines now. There we are. This one is the biggest, so that luckily joins there and puts that shape in. So then we know that this one is going to sort of sit like that. And here I've got a little bit of that one showing. The same here and here. So we're following the lines and bringing them down to that shape there. Of course, same here, drawing those in. Let's have a look at this one. It's going to sort of be there and then along, and there we go. 
Okay, so we've got this wonderful sweeping pattern around there. Looking good so far. So let's carry on this one then. So as we know, it's sort of these little petal shapes. And we're not too concerned about starting in the middle or anywhere. We're just sort of working them around. We're just following that curve into there. Okay, so let's finish off that petal shape there. And then again, all the way around. Now size for these doesn't really matter too much. We just want something in the middle there. That's gonna give that little shape, like so. And then in between each one of these, up and round. So they're like little loops. And again, size wise, you're just gonna fill in the sort of shape that you've got there. I'm not trying to be any different with those. So follow your shape around. There you go, see, like that. And the same there. And of course, just sort of continue it along until we get there. And this one, if we look at the rest of them, see, so we've got this shape, then we've got our row of stripes so i think what i will do here because it's quite wide i'm going to start in the middle and then i'm going to follow the curve around this shape so just moving it ever so slightly as i go around and uh, adding in these little lines so i wonder if you found this one more challenging than last year's or because we've had a little bit of experience maybe and we've uh, put all the tiles together it's been a little bit easier or oh, i don't know if you you didn't do last year's maybe after doing this one you might go back and have a go at doing that one too if you've got some time over the holidays that'd be quite a nice thing to do you see it's on it's definitely on youtube the um i think chris very kindly has put them all in a, a little playlist Hi Chris, by the way, I think I've seen Sheila as well. Uh, Chris is also putting some different playlists together because he's asked me for my top 20 tiles. So to keep an eye out for that, that should be quite fun. There we go, look at that. All right, so again, looking at this bit in the middle, if we look at these, this is sort of, um, yeah, this is a, a design that we've got going through. So I'm not going to, finish this one off until I know what I'm putting here and the same with this one so let's uh, come in with pencil again oh thanks for that Chris and Viv yeah it's it is yeah it's I didn't know what we were to expect last year if I'm honest because we'd never done it and we thought let's give it a go and then uh, of course you know putting these tiles together it really you really see the image having said that I have lost one of my inked tiles so I'm going to have to uh, ink another one. Luckily, I know which colour pens I used. So. It just means I've got to ink just one. And uh, you know what that's like. Sometimes we like to do them in bulk, don't we? But that's okay. Right, okay, here. So I'm going to add some. I'm going to follow the shading around what's already gone. Okay, and then here, look. See, this has gone this way, so I'm going to sort of do that side as well. I'm not going to do the bottom bit. So I'm, I'm sort of taking the, the lead from what's already happened before. So there we go. <laughs> I know, Chris. Uh, there's one thing I, I don't think I'm predictable. No. I don't think so. John says I'm not. <laughs> but, uh, it's nice, though. It's nice that you get surprises now and again. See, just sort of adding those little bits in. And I don't know if you've been watching watching Holly Maker today, so it's Andy's birthday. So it's sort of on in the background. But I know on one of the advertisements, they're saying that they're operating on Christmas Day from one till five. They're not. 
it's 12 till 4. So if any of you are pressing record or anything like that, just to be aware, just check their schedule because um, that advert's not quite right. But not to worry. See, just adding those little bits of pencil in there. And there we are. Job sort of done. Now, of course, I'm going to be coming in with my white pencil here once everything's done so we can get the uh, the swoop of that pencil i don't want to do that in sections but for the majority that is it oh dorothy that's brilliant news you know certainly you know mistakes wise i say we've just sort of looked at this one here and you think oh i've not quite got my lines matching but you know what in the middle of all of it it doesn't really notice that much and it depends what you sort of decide to choose. If you're going to add a bit of extra colour, it might be that if, if I add colour here, this is the bit that's going to show up, where this then will fall into the background. And, uh, oh, Joe, is that is that an ask or is that a... <laughs> uh, there's two shows, Joe. so maybe there's a bit more. I can't say. Who could possibly say? So there we go. Um, let's have a quick look at it. Up a little bit there you are so we're actually really getting there now top half's done it's just these two left so this one's sort of swooping around here kind of thing tomorrow i think i don't know which one that is oh that's number 23 here yeah, tomorrow and 24 is putting these final two pieces in place so okay if you can join me tomorrow for this brilliant if not it's going to be there for you to catch up with and of course we've got our regular tile to our tomorrow as well so if i don't see for this I will see you at two o'clock for our regular tale. So have fun, everybody. Enjoy, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Take care.